Good Tuesday morning, everyone. A winter weather working its way through. Here's the latest in your forecast update on how much snow, where, and what to expect as we go throughout our day right here. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons want to remind you that it's time to clean and inspect that furnace. $129 inspection fee for 25-point inspection. Give them a call today. Let them know that Hutch sent you. Let's take a look at your hour-by-hour hour forecast. First thing to keep in mind is we'll have snow spreading into the valley as we go through the morning hours. Heaviest in the southern half of the state and into northern parts of South Dakota. Some rain to begin out in Minnesota. Some slippery road conditions for the morning uh, commute out there. Heading into the midday hours when the strongest winds and snow will be from basically just south of Fargo and into South Dakota. Now that heavy bend of snow will continue to trek eastward as we go through the day and it will snow from around that mid-morning time frame to the drive time home in Fargo at 3 to 5 p.m. So some significant accumulations in Fargo and Point South in Ottertail and Becker County is, and Point South, Brainerd Lakes area and Point South still raining as we go into the early afternoon hours out in the Twin Cities. But that too will be changing in the snow as we head into the nighttime hours. By the time we get to Tuesday night, 10 o'clock, the snow has ended here in the valley. Gusty winds continue. We're going to have areas where the gusts will be over 40 miles per hour. Snowfall accumulations in some spots will be 8 inches, maybe even a little bit more in our area, over 10 inches in parts of central Minnesota. And as we go through the nighttime hours, that's when the cold kicks in. So here's the details on the forecast for snowfall amounts. Hutch's forecast taking that heavier band of snow that will be generally a good bet at three inches, but many areas will have a narrow band of a six or more inch tread along this isolated eight inches across parts of North Dakota. This will sneak into Northern South Dakota and areas just South of Fargo. Fargo standing a great chance at that four to six inch range and the range will go up quickly as you go South. I do think there could be some terrible driving conditions from Fargo and Point South and out East into Lakes Country. I do think Big Stone County all the way up towards you folks up there in Traverse County, all the way out to the Brainerd Lakes area, having a decent chance at seeing substantial snow. Four inches is a very good bet, four to six, but six to eight plus with isolated 10. And wow, in northern Minnesota, excuse me, northern parts of Wisconsin, snowfall amounts could be in excess of one foot by the time we get to your Wednesday. It does look like our winds will be a gusting from the north, but not until the backside of the storm gets here. So an east wind to start your day. Afternoon winds will gust over 40 miles per hour from the northeast and then eventually north. Temperatures falling throughout the afternoon with measurable snow. And again, Fargo picking up a solid four to six inches of snow, a little bit more down to the south. We'll keep you posted on that. Better conditions as we go through the latter part of your Wednesday with the snow pretty much gone for most of the day in our area. Then we'll see temperatures that will be bitter cold we're talking some sub-zero readings out there. How about that Friday? Black Friday starting out cold. A chance of a light snow shower or two across the region heading into your Saturday morning. And then Arctic cold will make its way in. And our first sub-zero day on December the 1st. How fitting. I'll have updates right here on your road conditions. You can get the la latest anytime on HunchesWeather.com. Thank this Thanksgiving, if the family starts arguing about who ruined the stuffing, just quietly grab the remote, turn on Hutch's weather, and say, shh, I need to hear this part. I'll give you 90 seconds of peace. Maybe more if there's a storm. From all of us at Hutch's weather, happy Thanksgiving, and good luck around that table. Anywhere, anytime, at Hutch'sWeather.com.